Hi, I'm the Accidental Brewer, and today we're going to be doing a beer. Uh, well, bottling a beer. Um, this is the Brewer's Best Holiday Ale that uh, I did about a, a month ago. Uh, sorry, things life gets in the way. But uh, I have that over here. It didn't quite fit in this area. These are all the bottles that I might use, and we're just going to see if it's done today and ready to bottle, which I think it is, because um, it's been, you know, uh, since... 3-1, uh, and today is 4-10, so it's like a month and nine days. Uh, anyways, so uh, first things first, I got to pop the top on this and see if it's any good. Now, everything here has been sanitized, just to let you know. Sanitization bucket right here behind me. All of this has been run through sanitization. This stuff, sanitize that bucket over there, uh, sanitize this even have the caps and sanitizer liquid um, and I got to get my hydrometer. Alright so this is what it looks like it's a lovely amber red very clear I like the uh, like the look of it um, it has gone down to 1.012 according to my uh, hydrometer and uh, that puts it somewhere around 8.2 percent ABV that's respectable for um, uh, my first you know shot at this stuff the next thing that I have to do is put this priming sugar in um, which is about five ounces of priming sugar um, into the the brew and uh, then we're gonna transfer everything over into this bottling bucket and bottle and uh, I've, I've decided to go with uh, bottling bucket as I've done a couple times before uh, but this time I put a little hose clamp on it make sure that nothing comes out and uh, I've got this on really snug tight um, but yep uh, be be back in a moment I probably should taste this first so hold on a second let me pour it in a glass see what it's like looks like it still has a little bit of gas from uh, you know the the brew, so it's mildly gassed, <laughs> carbonated. Smells very mold. It reminds me of a beer version of the um, fruit punch mead that I make. Very happy with that. I like that a whole lot. That may be one of my favorite things that I've done as far as a beer, and it, the bitterness offsets it nicely it's not too bitter and so I'm, I'm expecting that once it's carbonated it should be very nice and round out very well so looking forward to it all right well gonna put this in gonna transfer that over to here um, with a bottling wand and then uh, we'll be back at the bottling stage so
a little longer than a few minutes later. All right, well, we're ready to bottle. Uh, I have like five and a half gallons, I think maybe five and a quarter gallons of beer here, which gives me a little space to, uh, to bottle, <laughs> to have some extra bottles with. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. I really like it without carbonation. I can't wait to see what it tastes like when it's cold and carbonated. So that's the next part. One hour later. All right, we're back. And as you can see, we have a ton of bottles here. That is uh, 62 bottles that have been made. And the, the brewer's kit came with these labels, which look really great. Um, we did a ginger beer recently that uh, we called Solus that um, has labels on it too. We put them on differently. Um, I'll, I'll actually try that one on camera. And one day I'm gonna do like the ginger beer recipe, just probably not five gallons worth. I don't know, maybe I will. Um, anyways, the, the point is that I have some extra and I've even got one right here that is so full. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge and I'm gonna drink it <laughs> after it's cold because uh, it's, um, it's definitely uh, too full. Uh, it'll explode if it carbonates. Also, I kind of just poured the beer in because uh, it was at the last little bit. So I don't want it to oxidize. And um, yeah, the rest of these though, the other 61 are gonna go in those boxes over there, if you can see them. And then uh, I'm gonna let them carbonate and then we'll come back for a taste test in a couple of weeks. Um, depending on when this airs, the taste test may be actually part of this video or maybe right after it. 